I was tr I was trying to just like keep it in my legs, but like when it gets to a certain point, like my nose starts so to dribble. Mine, yeah, mine was my nose was running in there as I was recording, and then it dripped, and I was like, oh, hopefully nobody saw it. <laughs> anyway, um, so the question that I have for you, the next one is, um, you tell me, told me a little bit about your your pre SSC um, college experience. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how your college experience, you know, going for your bachelor's, differs from what you're experiencing now at South Suburban? Okay, so my college my college experience. Um, Pre South Suburban, as same as ever, it is different compared to South Suburban. Being that you know South Suburban is a community college, and South, I mean, Saint Xavier was well, is a university. Um, so it differs a lot of ways. But um, I think the main thing, why the main reason it differs, is because um, I'm only at South Suburban when I have classes. Um, so majority of them are at nighttime, or you know, like out here in the field, <clears throat> out here. You're good. <coughs> Okay, um, out here in the field, so you know I'm, I don't really get to interact with other people unless they're in my class. Um, but as same as ever been that you know it was a university and I was able to live on campus and I was there for four years full time. Um, I was able to you know learn a little more about the campus, you know, adapt better. Um, but South Suburban, you know, being that I only have a certain amount of classes and they're only for you know X amount, X amount of time, it's just like you know. It's different, um, but I think it's because more so um, different, my, different to me because I haven't had time to like really experience the, the college community campus there, um, being that I'm not there, or you know, just learn some of the reasons why people go there, you know, just get the actual feel. I think it's these gloves. Because <clears throat> mm. dust is flying. No, it's not the one. No. Okay, um, so. I would say that's one of the reasons, one of the things. And then uh, another thing is at St. Xavier, they actually compare because at St. Xavier, um, the classes were small. Um, that's one reason I picked St. Xavier. But uh, as far as teaching, you know, it's different because, you know, it's a trade school. So, you know, it goes more in tune with, you know, what you're supposed to be learning instead of, you know, I didn't have to take gen eds because I'm a um, advanced student. I already have a bachelor's degree, but it goes, um, the, the teachers, they actually, you know, jump right into it while at St. Xavier, or like other uh, universities, you know, they kind of, they might be educated in their field, but you know, you don't really get the hands on. And that's one th reason why I went to St. South Suburban over um, other classes, because I knew for a fact I'm a visual learner. Um, I needed something that I can see something that you know I can do myself and someone when I'm actually in the actual actual field you know and I'm doing it I'm like oh uh, what was on that PowerPoint no I actually know how to do it and that's one reason um, that I don't really like colleges because you know paying so much money f to read off a PowerPoint I could have did it for free but yeah um, that's one of the reasons and then uh, another one is it's kind of small it's, it's really smaller compared to St. Xavier but you know it is a community college so yeah um, Will be another thing. That's right. Um, can I have you say at the four year at the private four year university I went to, just so we don't it doesn't sound like we're bad mouthing Saint Xavier. Oh yeah. So if you could say just all you need to say is at the four year university that I went to, I and okay. then that's all I need. Whatever you're Oh, saying. at the four year at the four year university I went to, I. That's it? Yeah, because I'm going to take everything where you said St. Xavier and just say at the four-year university that I went to. Or yeah. can you say at the private university I went to, I? Yeah. Um, at the private university I went to, I... Good. Good. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Just so it doesn't... I just don't want to make it sound like yeah. I'm like, nothing them or anything yeah. like that. No, I didn't um, like the school, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can you tell me uh, what you're working toward now at South Suburban? Um, like you're, I know you're working toward your certificate, but can you tell me the name of the certificate you're working toward and uh, what your eventual goal is? Okay, um, so I'm pro-black, um, so everything I do is for the beneficial of my people um, and also my family. Um, so what I'm working towards is getting... Um, just had a brain fart. Okay. Um, so right now I'm on track to graduate. Well, I don't even know if you should say graduate. Get well, my certificate. Get, there you go. Get my certificate in home renovation um, in this May. And then after that, I'm actually thinking about taking summer classes for real estate. So I know like all the odd ins and out um, when it comes to housing. I just want to basically um, 
teach myself all the ins and outs when it comes to a housing. So if anyone has questions or anything like that, you know, I'm able to teach them or refer them to someone that I know has more information about it or will be better adequate to, you know, tell them. Um, and then I also plan on coming back in the fall to get my home improvement. So that has like the plumbing, the electricity, goes in more into depth and things like that. Um, while the home renovation tells you how to, basically teaches that, teaches you how to demo, uh, demolish, there you go. I was trying to say demolition. Uh, demolish a house and then how to basically fix it up. Gotcha. Um, so the, so the uh, certificate that you're getting right now is called? Home renovation. Okay. Um, can I just have you say, um, I'll be receiving my home renovation certificate from South Suburban College and then you okay. can say May or whatever. Yeah. So I'll be receiving my home renovation uh, certificate from South Suburban in May. Perfect. All right. Which is this month. Yes. So that's awesome. And then, and then you're going for real estate. Sir, right. I want to. That's the depend on how the funds are because I, uh, being I went to a four year university already, all my financial aid is done for. So I've been paying everything out of pocket, which has been kind of stressful. Um, I won't lie, but you know, it's you can't put a price on something that you're passionate about. You can't put a price on something that you know for a fact that this is something that you want to do for the rest of your life. And a couple of thousand dollars compared to thousands of dollars I'll be making in the future, I'm like. Mm. A penny to a dime, you know, I guess that's okay. So, yeah. And then um, after that, I plan on fixing and flipping houses for low my, uh, it's for low income housing uh, for minorities. And then after that, I actually plan on starting a business um, to teach um, second offense offenders, basically give them a second chance, um, you know, because once you go to jail for any offense or you like place a felon, um, it doesn't even matter if you are like actually convicted or not. If you are are said to be guilty or you know like wrongful, wrongfully convicted, like a friend of mine was, by law, like when you're filling out applications things like that, you have to say that you know you were convicted of a felon. And then you know a lot of times people won't hire you unless it's a warehouse. Um, but I just want to you know give them a second chance or give them something else. Give give them another way to make a living. Um, and then with real estate for me, um, through my research, it's something that, you know, it's hard work. It, it's you, you wake up, you go to construction and then you go home and it's, it's very draining. Um, but I like it because, you know, it's something that you can see your work progressing and see yourself, um, doing. And, you know, you like, you look back, like when we first came to the house, it was just like, Oh, um, okay. And then we did demolition and then, you know, did piping and, uh, wiring things like that. But now we're looking back me and my friend actually today, we're like, yo, we did this. We did this whole house. Like, you know, just it's a boost to your self-esteem and just to know that you, this is something that you actually can do. And then, you know, um, not only have yourself be proud of yourself for doing it, but, you know, your younger kids looking up to you, they can be proud of you. And like, I want to be like my dad. You know, that's always what they say. Or I want to be like my mom. And, you know, it gives them something else to think about. And it basically gives them a second chance to, you know, actually redo their life and the path on their life. And, you know, um, um, give them another reason not to be in the streets or not to, you know, do illegal activities um, to make ends meet. So you've got a really good head on your shoulders. I don't Absolutely. think so. Yeah, so. you totally do. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what you what you do after you leave SSC yeah. um, because I yeah you you sounds like you're. Oh, you uh, it's a lot, but things. you know. Yeah. So if you know anybody that can you know help me out with that, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Um, the, uh, another question or another thing that you mentioned during our phone interview is um, that the construction, you came to South Suburban originally when you were at Thornton uh, Township. Township High School. Mm -hmm. um, you you know, you kind of got lost and you came across the construction classroom on a tour and you said that that moment when you saw that classroom was something that always stuck with you even when you went on to your four year university. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me about that, tell me about that experience coming to South Suburban College and seeing that classroom when you were in high school and kind of how it stuck with you? Okay. Um, so when I, um, at Thornton Township was the high school I went to and graduated from, um, they have this thing, it's like a career day. Well, not really career day, but college day. There you go, college day. And basically, um, they take, you know, seniors on to, like, the surrounding colleges. Um, so being a community, uh, South Suburban was in our district. That's one of the places they took us to. I was actually, the class I was in at the time was actually, um, Well, it was uh, a class for, you know, uh, preschoolers. So it was basically a teaching class. Um, so we're uh, here on a college trip 
And I remember we were in this little documentary room where the lady came in. She was telling us about the college or, you know, she was talking to us about Infamil, actually. And it's just how, you know, how it can be safe for the babies and stuff like that. And that was really boring. So, you know, I had to go to the bathroom, but I was just like, should I hold it? I'm like, no, I just want to escape. So I was like, where's the nearest bathroom? And the lady, she was like, oh, you go this way and that way. I'm like, oh, go all the way around the world. That's cool. I'll just, I'll just, I'll find it. So um, what I was planning on doing was asking a student or anyone I saw like how to get to the bathroom. Um, when I did that, they misdirected me. So I ended up in the basement. I did not know where I was. I just knew I took flights of stairs up and down, up and down, and then I just ended up here. So I took a hallway that was um, not dark because I didn't want to go down the dark one. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm by the down the stairs. I don't know how to get back for real. Um, so. I remember just walking and walking and walking and, you know, while as I'm walking, I'm seeing people in classes and stuff like that. And it's just like, oh, you know, the typical college, you know, I had been on a couple of college uh, trips already. So just like, oh, you know, the typical. Um, but I remember coming down a flight of stairs and right in front of me, it was like this big wide window, two big wide windows right next to each other. And when I looked, it was posters on front of it. And it was like construction posters, like people actually, the, the frame of a house actually. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I remember myself looking into um, one of the classrooms and it was uh, tables in the front. And then it was like a model of a house, a mini house in the back. I'm like, hmm. Oh my God, that's really interesting. And on the other side, the light was actually off, but it was actually like a big, like half a house. And I was just like, oh my God, this is really cool. Like, I didn't know they offered it. Like, this is really cool. So then I went back and I read the poster that was smack dab in the middle of the window. And I'm like, oh, you know, building one-on-one, you can take, this could be you. And I'm just like, oh, okay, all right. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I probably should get back. So I started walking back and um, um, my friend actually came and got me. But that's something I was like, did you know they offered this issue? I said, yeah, but why would you want to do that? I'm like, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Like, you never thought about it? I said, no, I know what I want to be. I want to be a preschool teacher. I'm like, oh, okay, girl, my bad. So, um, yeah, so then I remember like uh, sitting into the rest of the lecture and then I remember, you know, thinking a little bit of it after that. But then, you know, for the rest of the day, it was just like, oh, it was just a class. Um, so then when I went to St. Xavier and I uh, started to have like doubts about my career and like what I was actually doing in nursing, um, if this was really something for me. And I started asking myself, like, what do you really want to do? What was something that made you happy? What can make you happy? You, you know, what would make you, you know, something that you know for a fact you can do for a long run? Um, that's one thing I always thought about, about you know, um, I didn't think much about it. But I was just, you know, you know. Um, community college, you know, if I do drop out, you know, I know for a fact I would still go to college, you know, South Suburban's down the street, you know, I could just pick up some classes there. Um, but it wasn't until like I started doing research in college about like um, real estate that it actually crossed my mind daily. Like, yo, this is something that, you know, I can do, you know, why go to Arizona State when it's something close to home, you know. And so I started to think more about it that way. And then, um, yeah, I just finally, you know, just like, I'm going to do it. So, yeah, and that's how I got here. Cool. Um, so I'm going to have you say, so at the university, so that way we don't have St. Xavier anymore. Okay. All I need is, so at the university. Okay. So at the university. One more time. So at the university. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, good. So you just want me to say sorry. university instead of saying... Yeah, okay. that's okay. Just because cool. I don't, I like, I don't, I just don't want it to come off like, like we're bad mouthing or yeah. anything. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the university and that yeah. sort of thing. No, but I hated the university. But I know, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, so what was it like to finally be in the classroom that you saw on your tour? It was actually mind-boggling. Like it was crazy. Like I remember walking down and having a book bag on my on my back, and um, you know the way I came in, I was. I, oh, I was so lost. It was so crazy. I was so lost. And then, because um, I came through the front, and then, you know, it was the big opening for Saint, for South Suburban. And then I was just walking, walking, walking. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know how to get. Stopped in the library. I'm like, hey, do you know how to get to this class? I'm a new student. She's like, oh, yeah, you just go down these stairs and get up. I was like, I'm like, okay, thanks. So, you know, I'm walking, 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 and then this girl bumped into me, and she was like, hey, do you know how to get to this class? I said, no, but that looks close to the class I'm looking for. Let's look for it together. So, you know, we're wandering the halls. The class had been going on for 10, 15 minutes now, and I'm like, oh, we're late. We're late on the first day. She was like, oh, this is not good. I'm like, yeah, I know, but, you know. Uh, so then we finally, I actually walked her to her class. I'm like, hey, this is your class. And she was like, yeah. 
And I'm like, okay, now how do I get to mine? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, what? So um, the door was actually locked. So a security guy actually came to unlock it. And then I was like, hey, you know, do you know how to get here? You're like, oh yeah, you're down, you're, you're literally down the hall from it. I'm like, wow, story of my life, story of my life. So he walks me down and, you know, he taps on the door and we walk in. He like, hey, you got another student. And then um, um, chief, I call him chief. Um, he's like, oh, all right, take a seat. So I'm like, oh, okay, this class is huge. Like, oh my gosh. Like, it didn't really dawn on me that that was the actual class that I had saw until the next time I had came and I found my way the way I was supposed to go and I saw the big poster again and I was just like yo like this is the class like I was just like wow like so then like when I was sitting there in class you know you know taking notes and things like that it was kind of frustrating because I was like this is something I want to be in so I need to take notes on everything but he was like he pulled me aside because like after he saw like 15 pages flying up and me just making scribbles and things he was like you know you don't have to write everything down you know just write the important stuff like everything is important bless him Trust me, I'm repeated. I got you. I got you. I'm like, okay. So, um, yeah, that's one reason why I feel as if, like, when I was in the class, like, I was always decided. It was times where I didn't want to be there just because I wasn't feeling good or, you know, it was late at night. It was a late night class, and I was just like, oh, I just want to sleep. But, you know, when I did come, I walked through the doors, you know, and I started working and stuff like that, it was, it was the feeling always left. So. Um, and then what uh, do you think is the best part about the program so far? You mentioned to me it's like all the hands-on and real-world stuff that you're learning while rehabbing the house. And also you said working with Eugene, too. So can you tell me about that experience? That I think, yeah. I think the best part about working um, in these classes is that we actually get to work in the field. So we know exactly, like, rather than the nursing classes, you know, that I was in um, at my old university, you know, we went to class and then, you know, we had these huge books and it's basically you taught, you taught yourself um, the body and, you know, the ligaments and things like that. And then we came back to class the next day, we, re we rehearsed them, we revised them and things like that. But here in construction, um, being that we're actually on site, you learn right there, you know. So if you have a question, you can always ask right there. You don't have to wait till the next day. You don't have to, you know, be afraid to, you know, be like, excuse me I got a question because he always makes sure you got it you got it and then you know even if you are afraid to say it right there like when we're in group uh, lectures inside the house that you know you you kind of are confused about something um when we're split up and we're doing our little things you know he'll see that you know you may not have it or that's be the time when you can ask him like what did you mean by this or things like that and I think that's like one-on-one -on -one, hands-on is like the best type of training because you know for a fact you got it and if you don't have it you can always the teacher's right there to teach you to make sure that you have it before moving on. While in a big class setting, um, you know, that's not always the case. Um, so that's why um, I think the best thing about these classes is that they're hands-on and the teachers are friendly and they want you to succeed and they want you to actually know what you're doing before moving on to the next step. Speaking of, I know you said the teachers are friendly. What I loved is you kept calling Eugene, Eugenie. Oh, uh, Eugenie? Yeah. yeah. I love that you he call him it. that. Like, it just, it just shows that you guys are, like, tight and you're, mm -hmm. you're close to him like that. You feel comfortable around mm -hmm. him. Can you tell me a little bit about him? <laughs> like, why I call him Genie or just him, period? Just him. It, yeah. um, he's actually, like, when I first came to the class, you know, I was kind of like, okay, let's do it. Only girl in the class. You know, it, it kind of was like, no one else that looks like me, like no other girls. But then, you know, you get over that and just like, you know, this is a quote unquote male dominated, you know, uh, career, even though like a lot of women are taking, taking it over. Um, but, you know, when I first came here, you know, he wasn't really like the typical teacher, you know, he was like loud and like, not really aggressive, but he was just like right there, you know, while the other teacher's like, okay, I don't really care if you got it or not. Like, I'm, I'm just here for the paycheck. But he, like, the first vibe I got from him was like, you know, yeah, I get a paycheck, but I want to make sure that you're not messing up my house either. So <laughs> I'm going to actually teach you what you're supposed to know. And, yeah, so we're going to progress together. Um, and then, like, um, this one thing. And then another thing about it is, like, you know, he shows us, like, he calls it ways not to do the job. Right. <laughs> so if he makes a mistake, he lets so. I didn't mess up. I'm just showing you what not to do on the job. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So um, even though like um, some of the things may not be, I don't know if you should put this in there, up the OSHA code. I won't put this in there. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to put this in there. All right. So even though some things may not be up the OSHA code, it's actually, um, I feel as if they're good to learn because, you know, sometimes like, especially with this house, it's on a slant. So a lot of things we were doing like in the attic or in between the walls, like you had to like, 
basically go against the code to, you know, figure out how to do it, to make it connect the way it should and make everything run properly. Um, so he lets them, don't tell anyone I taught you this, but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm like, okay. So everyone gathers around, you know, it's uh, just moments like that where, you know, um, he just makes sure that no matter what we, no matter what happens, something important comes across. And instead of just doing it um, because, you know, we're behind or we're behind schedule or we're running low on time, he just wants us to make sure, like, you know, if you're in the field and you, this is something that you come across, this is how you fix it instead of just, like, wasting hours and hours on time trying to figure it out. And he tells us all the time, like, you know, um, the best experience is um, learn from others' mistakes. So... Um, you know, so that's one of the reasons I feel as if like he shows us like ways not to do a job. Right. Um, and then, you know, I just feel as if like like today, like when we we're doing electricity, um, I started to curl the wire the wrong way. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 mm -mm, no electricity. Nope, I'm not being electro electrocuted. So I turned it back the right, the right way. And that's the little things that, you know, um, they may not make a big improvement right there. But when you're actually in the field doing the job, you know, you actually still hear his voice in your head. Um, telling you like, oh, no, nope, you know, that's not right. You know, that's not right. Okay. Yeah, you get it. And so, you know, I think those are, are good things also good attributes. Um, and then also like, he's very happy and light and lighthearted. Um, so like, you know, a lot of people, guys that came across like in the, um, construction, like in class and stuff like that, like, I don't want to really call them stuck up, but they're just like, I'm better than you. Like, it's just like, you're a female staying in your place. And, but with him, it's just like, all right. You're here. You're just another guy on the team. Come on. We finna, we finna work. You want to know something? Ask me or I'm going to tell you, you know, things like that. Instead of like, okay, I'm going to give you like the girly stuff to do with the less, least amount of dirt. Like, nope, you're here. You showed up to class today. You finna get dirty. You finna know how to do this. Like, and it's just like, at first it was just like, mm, but it's just like, this is something you're going to do in your field. So when you get out there and you get a union job or you're flipping houses or you're doing things yourself, no one's going to take it easy on you. You know, they're going to expect you to show up and do the work. So you can't go and request and be like, can I get the dust pan? It's just dust for eight to 10 hours. Like, no, girl, go get that hammer, go get them nails and build that wall. Like, you know, so it's not really that he's hardcore on us, but he's hard enough and soft enough on us that it makes a difference. You know, that's a really good answer. Yeah. Um, can you tell me where the house is located that you guys are working on right now and some of the other things you did in the house just briefly? Um, so the house is located in Park Forest, um, and then some of the things that we have done thus far in the house. So we did demolition um, last semester. So it's a two-semester course, so it's a, like a, a, a year-long uh, remodel. Um, so last semester we did um, demolition. So we took out all the cabinets, we took out all the uh, furniture and things like that. We tore down the walls, you know, um, and then we had to clean out the attic. Oh my God, that was the worst part for me. Oh, so glad it's over. So glad it's over. Um, another thing we did, we actually did the siding. We learned how to do the siding. We learned how to do uh, gutters, and we learned how to do... Uh, we actually built a roof. It was a flat roof at first, and we had to make it a, a gable arch. So, you know, that was really interesting because we actually learned... It took a long time, but, you know, we were just starting out. So once we got the hang of it, it was pretty decent. Um, we also did shingle removal. Wasn't really a fan of that. So glad we finished. Um, and then what else we do? Uh, drywall, we did siding, we did, um, I keep forgetting the name of it. Oh, keep on off, sorry. Um, like, yeah, so we, we, we've done a lot of stuff. It's just so, so much that we've done, like, I forget some of it, but, like, it's so crazy because, like, after, like, the first month or the first couple of weeks of taking the class and actually working on the class, working in class and, like, um, in the other class learning, things like that, like I'll ride, be riding down the street or, you know, um, driving or walking and I'll see these houses and I'm like, oh, you know, that's what this is or this is that or, you know, this would be actually better if this had this or, oh, that's not the code. If they do um, remodel it, they got to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you're going to bring, you got to change all of this. Like, nope, that is not good. And then like, um, just like when I dream about like what my dream house would be, actually it's so crazy because up to like a month ago, I didn't actually have a dream house, but then my niece, my three-year-old niece, leave it to the kids to ask these huge questions you know she like, some auntie what is your dream house gonna be i'm like i don't know I, I didn't really think about it so actually like when i started like imagining my dream house or what i actually wanted my house to be and represent you know um the fact that i would know how to do it build it bottom up you know um that was really that was really amazing to me so yeah awesome 
Um, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to ask you. I know that this looks like a huge question, <laughs> um, but uh, you actually answered quite a few, quite a few of them all in one. Um, can you tell me? Um, oh. Outside of SSE, like what are you up to? I know that last time I talked with you on the phone, you were like working free jobs and all that stuff. So tell me yeah. what you're up to outside of SSE and if you have any advice for those that are in the community that are also, you know, like working as much as you and, you know, going to school. Okay, so yeah, last semester I actually was working three jobs um, and I was a full-time student. With a full-time job and then two part-time jobs um, as well as caring for my nieces and families, um, but nice to say that, you know, slow down a little bit. <laughs> uh, so now I am um, actually just landed a new job um, yesterday, actually. Um, so yay, congrats to that. Um, <laughs> but um, as of now, uh, actually, um, so yeah, that's the one job I have. And then I actually started back up um, uh, my photography. So, you know, just thinking back to the things that always made me happy or I knew things that I was good at that I knew for a fact I wanted to continue. Um, Carpentry was one, and then photography was another one. Um, so, yeah, go check out my page. It's called Marvelous Memories. Okay, book you a shoot. Um, and then, you know, just spending time with uh, family and friends, just, you know, making the most of every day that I'm given. Um, and then I'm still currently looking for a job. I, I have been applying to a lot of uh, carpenter jobs, um, things like that. But being that, like, I'm still an apprentice, you know, only one year of work. Uh, a lot of people don't want to hire you because it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to hire you and you mess up. But it's just like... No, take a chance. Come on. You don't know. You don't know. Take a chance. But um, yeah, then what else am I here? Um, I actually, yeah, like I said, in some time I actually plan on taking the real estate classes here at South Suburban. And then after that, I want to go and take the home improvement classes. And then with that all under the belt, I actually want to buy a house and um, start my flipping. So yeah, fixing and flipping. Awesome. Do you have any advice for any anybody that might be watching this? I know that you said that you're um, pro minority and pro female and all that kind of stuff. Anybody that might be out there watching this that might be kind of like, I can't, I can't do it. One thing I used to hate that my teacher told me uh, when I was in college at Saint Xavier was, "Can't should never be in your vocabulary." You always, I choose. Okay, hold on. That's all right. She used to, we used to bicker back and forth because, you know, I was like, I can't do it, I can't. She was like, you can. She said, what's the worst, first word? I was like, can. And then she was like, okay, that's it. I said, but I cannot. She was like, no, 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 no. What's the first word? She said, break it apart. So was some, um, she was like, just like when you get in the field, you know, it's going to be broken bones. This is one bone. Focus on the other. No, you focus on this bone, attaching it. And so she was like, you can or you cannot? I said, I cannot. She was like, no, no. So it got to a point where... Um, I started to doubt myself, um, like I said, like, you know, with the whole career change and stuff like that, like if this really was something that I wanted to do. And so every time I came in and I said the word cannot or can't, she ducked the point. I'm like, what? Like, it's just how I talk. Like, man, man like, what are you doing? So it got to a point where it, I went down a whole, like, I thought she was playing at first, but no, she took me down a whole little grade. And I'm just like, okay, right, I can, I can. So she lost some. So Miss Kiana, Miss Marvelous, like, what are you doing today? Saying I can, saying I can. So what? Do you, what can you do? Everything. What can't you do? Nothing. But I can. Do, I can do something. She was like, Oh yeah. So um, that's one thing um, that also inspired me. Like, you know, back to the question. Uh, advice I would have for people: um, You literally only get one life. So why not live it the way you want to? Um, I know that for me and other people, um, I'm only in my early 20s so you know peer pressure and like what others think of me and others think of you it may be something that is important also but at the end of the day I feel as if this like if it's something that makes you happy you should do it like like I was telling my friend you're young you know even if you're older like being in these classes like it ranges I'm one of the youngest people and um they always tell me all the time like when they find out my age they're like what you're only 20 I they and they're like you know I'm 40, 50, you know, yeah, if I say, um, if this was, if, if I knew, okay, hold on, let me, so you don't have to do a lot of editing, <clears throat> they'd be like, um, yeah, you know, I'm 40, 
47, 58, you know, I wish this was something I knew for a fact this was th that I wanted to do. Like, it was something I knew for a fact I wanted to do, but I wish I wouldn't allow what other people had to say about me or allow other people to push me in a direction that I didn't really want to go in. And so they were like, so I'm, I'm like, yeah, but, you, you know, even though, you know, you were in a field that you didn't really want to be in, working the job you, you hated, eventually, you're here now. And they was like, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess that, I'm like, yeah, and that's all that matters. Aren't you happy now? They're like, yeah, I'm happy. You know, I've been working at this job for 37 years, but now I'm actually happy. I'm actually glad to get up and go to work. I'm actually glad to wake up like, ah, time to go. You know, instead of like, oh, 15 more minutes, please, 15 more minutes, you know, things like that. Um, so that's one of the advice. And then another one would be follow, follow your dreams. It's okay to be different, um, even though, you know, construction or, you know, picking up a trade isn't something that is seen as the norm. Um, it doesn't really matter. You know, who I tell my niece all the time, like, 